Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you these dotted squares from the Stamps of Life. This is a re-release of a product that they had previously re released with Sizzix, but now they're bringing it back under the Stamps of Life. And these are the dotted squares, and these are stacking dies. So your largest square measures about, it's, it's four inches by four inches, and then they range all the way to the smallest square in the middle is roughly, it's under an inch. It's probably, it's like one mark on the ruler above the three quarters. So what is that, 15th, 16th? And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies. So you have your eight of your stacking dies. So you can actually cut these out of different color cardstock and you can actually layer them for a layered look. Or if you just wanted to use them as, let's say just a border around an image, you can you know do them one at a time. You can also use some of these smaller ones in the middle for sentiment. So if you needed just to put a border around a sentiment, you can do that with some of these smaller ones even if you some of the larger ones you can put a border around your sentiment so they are really good for stacking and and layering and and using them for sentiment so i want to make a card with these today so for this card i'm using the third largest die in the set and i die cut a square out of the sky cardstock i also had some paper from the best wishes collection and this is actually, this is the Sloth Collection when that came out a few months ago. And I'm using the leaf paper, which I previously had cut out using a cloud border. And I decided that I wanted to make that for my trees at the top of my card. So I went ahead and die cut that out of the, cl out of the cloud border. And then, and then I took my same die that I die cut this cardstock and I ran this, cl this cloud border die cut through the die cut machine just like this to give me the dots all around the edges. I'm also using a sloth that I previously colored and I never used so I went ahead and just kept that in my stash so I'm digging it out now. I do have the Copic markers that I use to color this up and they'll be listed in my blog. I also die cut one of the branches that's from the die, the corresponding die set. For the sloths and I'm just gonna make a little scene here so I'm gonna have the branch coming out of the tree and then I'm going to have my sloth hanging from the branch and I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue I'm gonna be using my Tombow liquid glue just because this is a clear glue and it gives me more time to reposition the paper if I if I need to. So actually before I, I put this piece on, I need to put the branch underneath here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel back my double-sided adhesive, which I had on the chocolate cardstock before I ran it through my die cut machine. And I'm just gonna pop this up under here. Just see where I want it, press that down. And then we'll go ahead and adhere this part to my um, layer. So when you're adding this tree part to your layer, to your square, you want to make sure that your circles are all lined up. And they should be able to line up since you use the same exact die to cut that out. Okay, and then the sloth will go right on top. So you can create a little scene inside of these square dies, or you can just use them for layering. And I love how that looks. So I die cut one of the smaller square dies out of the white cardstock, which is the powdered sugar. And I'm gonna use the Let's Hang Out stamp from the Sloths to Stamp set. And I am going to stamp this in some chocolate ink, and I'm doing it at a diamond shape instead of a regular square just to make change up the shapes just a little bit. I also die cut a square out of the next largest die from my scene 
And I'm gonna take these two white squares and I'm just gonna add some Kiwi ink just around the edges, just to give it a little bit of color. I still want that white to show, but I just wanna add just a little bit of color around. I'm also going to take some of these leaf dies. I die cut these out of the Kiwi cardstock, and I'm just gonna add a, a few leaves to my branch. I'm going to adhere this scene to the white cardstock. Okay, next I have a powdered sugar card base in an A2 size. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of this leaf pattern paper. This is from the same paper pad, and this measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So that will be layered on top. I'm gonna have my squares right on top of that. And then this piece here will be in the corner and I'm also gonna be adding some twine. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this piece first. So before I adhere this card layer to the card base, I have some twine and I am just going to wrap this around this card layer. I'm going to tie it in a knot first because I want to make sure it's going to eventually be in a in a bow but I want to make sure that the um, it doesn't fall apart <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and tie this in a bow I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of this just to pop this up a little bit and that's gonna go right next to that bow. And what I usually like to do is just put a little bit of hot glue underneath the knot just to keep it in place. That also allows me to angle this bow so that it's not overlapping this sentiment. So now I'm ready to attach this to the card and I am just going to just add a little bit of tape just to make sure that this stays secure. This is a pretty thick ribbon, or I should say twine. And then I'm gonna apply some strong glue. This is my art glitter glue. And I'm just going to add some glue to the back of this. And that completes this card. So I will link all these products in my blog. So make sure you go down to the description box on YouTube and you will see a link to my blog. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.